G'day Ziggy D here with some more Neverwinter Online. In this particular video I'm going to be taking you guys through my first ever run of the 5 man dungeon Cragmire Crypts. So as you can see we're just straight into the combat here, pretty much just started a little camp room uh, and pretty much just moved on straight from there. I don't really know any of the backstory for this particular dungeon so it's all pretty pretty much fresh for me. Uh, the, extra, the rogue setup I'm going to be using in this particular run through is uh, Pretty much just what I covered in my level 20 recap. I've not really changed too much since then. Unfortunately, my companion is... I think we might need this key. Don't know if we need that key or not. Uh, religion kit will come in handy. Uh, unfortunately, my companion is currently away getting leveled up, so maybe she'll come back halfway through the dungeon. I don't know if she's able to do that or not, but uh, I've got the cleric companion with me, which pretty much seems to be genu genuinely, uh, generally agreed upon that the cleric is uh, one of the best sorts of companions. Uh, I suppose a bit of an update for my uh, Trickster Rogue. Uh, this, I'm going I'm to use the uh, Dazing Strike there as a little bit of an AoE. That's, uh, that's an interesting point. That um, Dazing Strike uh, is one of the few minor AoEs that you can have. You have to have mobs really bunched up right on top of each other, but if you've got two mobs standing next to each other, it can be much quicker to Dazing Strike them down together than to, uh, you know, than to uh, single target them normally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my stealth on these guys here. Just pick off some of these guys if I can. Some of these hexes since they're gonna be casting spells on my parties. Try and get behind, and uh, I'll try and burst this one down. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get out of a AOE. If there's if it turns out there's quite a bit of AOE in, e in here, I might change to a uh, cloud of blades instead of Jewelous Jewelous Flurry because Jewelous Flurry is quite good, but not if you're standing in top of on top of AOE like I am now. So I'm gonna uh yeah kind kind of awkward. I think I might. Might change that up now while I'm stunned anyway. So we'll go, we'll go cloud of steel and chuck it in there. Oops, wrong one. Oh, oh no, it's all falling apart. Slight flourish. <laughs> all right, we're not going to have any at wheels for a moment here. <laughs> all right, not the, not the best, not the best start, but we'll see. If, we'll see if we can recover it a bit. Sorry guys, sorry. So um, it looks like one of the other people is new too. That's the thing. They weren't quite sure. So a bit of an update on my rogue so far. I got a cape. That's a uh, pretty rad. So I was kind of disappointed overall in the uh, the amount that gear doesn't change as your level, but the stuff that has changed I thought has been pretty cool. Like having a necklace showing your character is like a minor detail, but to me that's kind of like a big thing. I, I feel that like that's an important part of character progression and a lot of games neglect that sort of thing. So when I changed my uh, necklace to a cloak and then the cloak appeared on my character, I was pretty, I was pretty happy. It's like this badass tattered cloak. Feels, feels pretty rad. Feels pretty rad. Uh, so I'm going to um, pop my daily here and use stealth on these guys because they seem to have quite a bit of HP. So I'm going to try and get out of their damage because I'm taking too much damage. Just going to pop my stealth off. Yeah, okay. Looks like I've dropped stealth. I'll get back behind them. I've still got uh, still got my encounter powers on cooldown so I can pop those. I'll just try and get around behind this guy as well. And uh, we'll, we'll DPS him down nicely. Now this is a level 25 dungeon I believe and I'm only level 22 so we'll see how we do in terms of like the uh, experience charts. I don't know, there's, looks like there's a thiefing thing down here I can do. There's also a lever, so... I don't know if we're supposed to go this way, but we get some we get some profession stuff. And the profession uh, event time thing is up as well, so... We get, get a little bit of a bonus for that. As you can see in the top right, profession is 5 minutes remaining. So, I don't know if we're supposed to... Looks like the rest of my party's gone in the other direction, so... I'm going to stick with them. Can I use my mount inside? I guess, I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Oh, thanks for the heal. Salty crab meat. <laughs> Alright, so I'll use my Dazing Strike just to help AoE these guys down nice and quickly. And, uh, yeah. Well, let's, let's move through here. Just uh, some pretty general crypt raiding combat in here so far. Seems pretty good. Those are some pretty, pretty uh, awesome doors. Whoa. There's a pretty cool scene in this game. Like, it's your typical high fantasy sort of D&D setting, but, uh,. You know, it's not, it might not be as impressive looking as games like Guild Wars 2 and things like that, but uh, some, of, some of it looks, I don't know, pretty good in the traditional sense. Whoa, what's going on here? Right, I'm going to stealth and avoid that in case it's a trap. Although I should see it since I know tricks the road. I'll pop my cooldown there, move to the other side, and we'll DPS this guy down so he doesn't heal his buddies. We'll finish up these guys and we'll go see what our party's doing over here. Alright, so I've got, uh, I've got Cloud of Steel now as well. I need to be aware of that and actually use it when I... Have opportunities to. So things are a bit messy and there's a lot of AoE going on. We'll have to light this. There we go. Magic Brazier complete. So we've got our quests on there. Light Braziers to open the magic door. Looks like it, that's done. I guess we'll uh, go through here and get our next quest in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stealth. I'm probably, I probably not need to not stealth so early. 
I'm feeling like I need to use it to close gaps, but I don't actually think that's the case, because more often than not, my party's going to have aggro. So it looks like we've got, we've got a Guardian Fighter, another Trickster Rogue, and possibly two Clerics, maybe a Control Wizard. I can't quite see the guys at the back there. That's our Dazing Strike, this guy, and we'll, we'll pop in a Stealth. Our cooldowns are still up, but uh, if we use our daily here, that'll give us enough Stealth to uh, wait until the cooldowns are up, and we'll, we'll be able to... Uh, Finish this off. Finish this guy off with all of our stealth here. Nice extra damage. Oh, he managed to heal himself. That's alright, we can use what's left of the stealth cooldown to uh, grab that. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna greed on that one. I don't think I need too much defensive gear, really. Maybe someone else will need a bit more than me. Try to be nice and generous, and then you be generous, and then the one you really need, you roll me on. <laughs> it's just uh, gener generosity for. Self-interest, like I am a rogue after all. Might as well roll play it a bit. Oh, perfect time for dazing striking. If only I had my daily uh, power fan of knives up there. I do love fighting zombies, so this is pretty cool. Whoa, quite, quite the horde. Let's use another dazing strike in here. Now, what I might do is I'll use my um, my decoy in here in, in the hopes that maybe some of those guys will aggro. No, nope. they're all pretty much dead anyway. But uh, we'll try and use that as much as possible. Oh, Rod need on that knife in case it's better than what I've got currently. But it uh, looks like we need to not light this next brazier. Just kill a few guys. Oh, I won. Got a knife. Alright, so we've got some warlocks in here. I'll take a, I'm going to take on this Hulk. Oh, I can have my cooldown come up in time. Not quite, but I can I can restock. If you if you nail it, I've noticed if you nail it right at the right time there, you can still uh, refresh your stealth cooldown. So. Although you don't stay in stealth, you can easily pop it again, and that's that's not so bad. It's actually quite good. Gonna use Dazing Strike here and finish him off with. Uh, I don't know. I might switch back to Jewelist Flurry if it doesn't look like there's any more AOE going on. But uh, maybe I guess in a party situation, sometimes you know you kind of have to suss out which skill is going to be best. So it looks like it looks like I'll do the Brazier Lighting here. Oh, another horde of zombies! Awesome. I have no fear. It's just. Spam all of, all of our abilities on this guy. Oh, I'm gonna use. There we go. <laughs> That's satisfying to use. All right, stealth up and take these yeah, guys down pretty quickly. We'll get rid of this hexer. Use my dazing strike on her so she doesn't get these spells off. Even if you're against an enemy that dazing strike won't daze on, I've noticed that it still seems to interrupt skills. So it's a really really good ability all round. So it seems like it's gonna be one that's. Oh, I'm gonna roll greed on that. I think I, or maybe I rolled and accidentally rolled need. Oh well. <laughs> just we'll just avoid. Oh, I, I won the shirt. Let's uh, let's ID some shirts and stuff while we're going. Yeah. What's this shirt like? It's locked currently anyway. I, that's probably gonna be the most ca the case with most of the gear I get here. Did I win all of those three things? Even though I tried to roll greed on them. It's very nice of everyone else to be rolling greed. Oh, AOE there. I think I'm gonna be under level for all of the gear in this area. We'll drop a spell. I'm gonna I'm gonna tab in and I'm gonna drop my decoy in and I'm gonna use my uh, my big hit to uh, finish her off. Get the finishing blow. Oh, almost. And it didn't didn't time it quite right. <laughs> Maxing out scum scumbag DPS style. So stun this hexering and get on the other side so our stealth refreshes. You really don't want to be standing in AoE when your stealth's recharging, especially. So that gust as well and I really can't do anything to interrupt it. Unfortunate. Probably should have dodged out of the way. But at least now I'm learning the, the effects of the spells. So that one, that one puts chains all over me. That's, uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay. What do we. Oh, lever guys, come on. <laughs> let's, let's do the levering. <laughs> I don't. I shouldn't have to do all of the dungeoning things. I think the uh, the Guardian Fighter can maybe do the levering of these things. Alright, let's pop our stuff here. Get on the opposite side to the Guardian Fighter, because they'll probably draw aggro now. So, so whenever those X's go up, you can uh, be pretty sure that they're going to draw aggro. Now, I'm going to let that AOE hit my uh, decoy. Oh no, she died. <laughs> well, that can happen as well. I'm not going to I'm not gonna roll on that there. Someone else can pick it up if they want. Pass. You guys can have that. Don't roll Need or even Greed on red items if there's someone else in the party that can use them. It's just not cool. It's kind of it needs to be adjusted as a system, but... In case it isn't, you know, it's up to us to, to be mature about these sorts of things. So I'm going to pop my daily here on this guy and try and try and DPS him down. Looks like my stealth's about to run out, so I'll just pop uh, Is it Lashing Blade? I need to double check the name. I want to use the correct names for you guys, so you can, 
you know what's going on. I'm going to pop my stealth again. As you can see, my stealth's coming out fairly often just because of the uh, skills and synergies and things like that going on. Pop up that guy there, and we'll pop our stealth again. And we might just finish this guy with a blazing strike, and just a bit of extra DPS there. Now I might grab this. I think it's a necklace. I'm going to roll breed on that as well. What is what was this F here? Disarm trap. I don't need to disarm these traps up anything. There we go. <laughs> One less trap to worry about. Alright, let's still up behind this guy. Looks like the uh, Guardian Finals on the front there. I noticed that. Uh, so Amy's been playing a little bit of Guardian Fighter uh, action on her account. Though she seems to be bored with the game earlier, which is surprising because it's quite a bit like Guild Wars 2, and she's a massive fan of Guild Wars 2. But maybe the lack of uh, her guild not being in the game might be a big drawback for her. Uh, but she's been playing some Guardian Fighter, and it looks like a lot of fun. I'm usually not into the, you know the tanky characters, but they're just the holding your, holding your shield up and standing over the top of it, and the just like beating down enemies, you know, like reliably. I don't know, it's, it seemed quite cool and maybe I'm growing a bit of a fondness to the classes that I wasn't traditionally fond of in the past. We're getting, we seem to be getting lots of, uh, we were getting lots of uh, green drops back there, which is pretty nice. So it says this is a 45 minute dungeon. Uh, if there's like lots of just generic fighting, I might cut it out for you guys. So uh, what's in here though? Search the crypts for treasure, slay them. Let's uh, stealth up and take out the boss. That's what. Whoa! This is why we. This is why we play a rogue, so we can do things like that, though. Fang here. Right, let's pop out. Go for the extra deeps, and we'll go this, the days here. I kind of probably shouldn't use my days uh, when it's already being controlled by the control wizard. So we definitely have a control wizard in the group. As you can see from those spells there. I'm gonna use days on this guy. Then I'm gonna pop in the stealth, and hopefully my stealth refresh will. Yeah, there we go. And we'll see if I can get a finishing kill. No, he's healed himself up. I'm not going to get it. I might change back to Jewelist Flurry, and I'll give you guys some Jewelist Flurry action, because it's an, it's an interesting skill. It can be somewhat difficult to use, but uh, when you can use it in the right situations, you can get a whole huge amount of DPS that I'm just going to upgrade on this too. So if anyone else is rolling need on everything, we're probably going to get a crab meat. So uh, let's just finish off this exit here. I'll, I'll stop that and I'll use my... Did get there, my crit, my guaranteed crit, 1500 damage, mmm, those numbers. If you like like those numbers flying up, then the uh, Trickster Rogue might be the class for you guys. So let's uh, head into this next room and see what's going on. Oh, what the? There was a wall behind it. Oh, yeah, wait, watch out. Right, we'll we'll uh, Jewelist Flurry this one. See, th the only awkward thing is it's an it's animation lock, so if you don't time it quite right, it can actually lock out your other skill, like my Refresh then. You notice I used my refresh a little bit later than I wanted to, so uh, that you know that's unfortunate because I couldn't refresh my stealth. So uh, you do have to pick the right times to use Jules Flurry, though. When you get the uh, the feats later on that extend the length of your uh, your stealth, I think it will be easier to use at the right times. But we'll see. We'll see how I go with this time around. So I'm gonna. You can use it after a daze, though. That's a good option as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this guy with this. I'm gonna daze one of them and then I'll, then I'll finish him off with some jewels and blurry action. Just to, it does it does feel awkward because of that long route and because it takes you know those two slow hits before you can actually start using the the, the quick slashes. But uh, once it actually gets going, then you really can't argue with the amount of damage it puts out. Treasure, treasure. Oh yes. Do I? So do we? We get things from the chests, I believe. So there's these false walls here. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh. Aratulani! Let's uh, finish, off, finish off this room and we'll, uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll, oh no, there's more, there's more false walls freaking me out everywhere. And I, um, let's finish, let's just kill this guy and see if, see if I've got a religion kit. I don't know if I've got one at the moment. This looks like a religion. Oh, out of sight. Do you guys get that little bug? That's annoying. Come on. There we go. Religion kit. Yes, there we go. Oh, steel plates. <laughs> Okay, through th through the pots. Let's just quickly finish off these guys. I might cut to the next interesting room. Okay, another false walls. What's the false walls going on? It's pretty cool. Is that a trap? It's a trap. Let's just uh, kill these guys off here. Battle. What are they? Battle whites. Interesting. We'll, uh, pop our stealth and get these guys finished off. Dazing strike. Double kill. <laughs> Okie dokie, what do we got in here? 
Oh, another chest. More treasure. I don't think this is where we're supposed to go, the, the treasure. Treasure's nice, but do we... Here we go. We've got the quest, the quest trail leads through the walls. Don't panic, guys. Disarm trap. Oh! Oh! Brutal! <laughs> guys, don't walk on it! <laughs> guys! No, I'm trying to do my rogue thing. I'm trying to save you. <laughs> okay. What do we got in here? Some spiders. Spitting spiders. Oh! Nope, nope. Let's uh... <laughs> stealth up behind this guy. No, go, for, go, don't go for us. Go for the fighting arms. We'll drop our decoy. Get onto the side here. Here we go. Oh, mistimed. I think I still managed to get the crit there. And we'll finish, help finish it off with some jewelers flurrying there. Come on, die, die. There we go. <laughs> oh, baby spiders popped out of it. <laughs> This has been pretty fun so far. I've actually been pretty impressed with the dungeons I've done so far. Like they're, you know, they're basic combat thinking. They're not like, you know, huge puzzle solving. Or, although last time I said that there was no huge puzzle solving, I actually missed a puzzle and got called out on it. So that's kind of embarrassing. But uh, you know, they're they're no like tabletop team that you're not really ever going to get that. But uh, but I've been entertained with a lot of go. In terms of MMOs, I feel like it's it's more interesting. It's certainly more interesting than the dungeons and that that were in Guild Wars too, which. Uh, you know, I played a bit of that and I watched Amy do a fair bit of dungeon runnings and especially with characters and, you know, class roles being all over the place in that game. Uh, I don't, don't, didn't seem quite like a very satisfying experience, but you guys following me up? Oh, have we got a boss fight? I wonder if this is like a major one or just a minor one at the start of the dungeon. We'll see. But no, I'm, guys, come on, teleport me there or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pop stealth just for the run speed here. So, no, what? Hold on. Okay, did I? I must have set that movie off, and then everyone else. Well, fine, you get the treasure. <laughs> All right, <laughs> come on, guys, let's let's go find this boss that I set off. He does he does his big intro, and we're just all like in another room raiding treasure and things. <laughs> okay, let's let's go let's go fight this boss. Oh, copious amounts of skeletons. Let's uh. Oh. I don't know if that's like a unlimited target style AoE or if it's uh you know limited to a certain amount of targets. I know that some AoE skills are. If it's limited to seven, that's kind of disappointing because I felt like I should have killed all of those skeletons. No, this guy doesn't seem to have too much health, so I'm, don't, I'm thinking he's not the end boss. Let's pop our decoy in here so it it takes some damage and we get some more action points. Getting stunned. All right, I'm just gonna have to chill out in here for now. We we'll use our cooldowns now since our stealth isn't up anyway. This guy's AoE is kind of annoying. Let's get behind. No, let's get back for a sec. Wait for him to do that. And then we'll use our jewelers firing on him. Not even stealth for it for the extra damage. He might be able to pop off the cooldown by the time it finishes. Come on. Oh, not quite. I managed to refresh my stealth though. That sort of that sort of interesting little timing you can hit there. It seems like something you could even like on purposefully go for to try and you know, really get the most squeeze the most out of your skills with that little bit of extra second of uh, stealth there. All those good things that are good for in-game dungeons and PvP. Three. Oh, per perfidious hood. Uh, well, I can't use that, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll greed on it because it's blue. It's like shiny. Oh, can I use this? Seal, seal of the lines. Okay. All right. They they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I luncheon won won the uh, perfidious hood. So. These blues seem to be tied to the actual dungeons and things like that as well, or they might just be rarer ones there. You got the treasure. Alright. Let's go to the... Oh, lower level. Okay, next level. I might do some pray, praying while I'm here. What do we get? Gift of Vitality. Ah, one of, one of the, the gift of sweet deeps. A competing adventure party? Awesome. I was just like in the middle of checking whether my hard drive had enough space to uh to keep recording, but it looks like we've <laughs> stumbled across another party that's trying to do the same thing as us. Oh no, this is our loot. <laughs> shame shame it's not an actual you don't actually get to challenge another actual group of players uh, for the right to the uh, finish off the dungeon. That would be a cool mechanic, an interesting sort of PV integrated PvP mechanic. Let's just use our AoE on these guys. It's pretty cool though, we get to fight, you know, other like hero-like creatures here. Uh, did, missed up my, uh, location there. And 
mix it, uh, messed it up and didn't get my extra skill. So it's a stun here. Yeah. Help finish off. Maybe we'll help finish off this healer. He's going to stealth and get the extra DPS there. There we go. Very nice. And downed. Exploded. Sorry guys. This is how dungeon. No, no offense, no offense. No, back in stealth. Got some combat advantage happening. So uh, we're ta we're take taking down the tank now. Ah, oh, we've even got our, our daily up. We can go for another stealth. Jewelers Flurry. Oh, I don't. Sorry, I don't. Need, I don't need any of these guys. I'll just pass them. <laughs> Finishing off the party. So I might. Uh, I might cut forwards a bit. So far, I've just fought some skeletons, but I'm gonna make sure. I, I don't. Wanna, I don't want to fill up Amy's hard drive on her. And uh, you know, the Australian internet can only handle certain size uploads. So unfortunately, I might have to cut it, cut it down a little bit. Another another key there. That should be should be any. Someone's got a nightmare inferno. Oh man, looks like we've come across some flicker strike spiders, part of Exile style here. Wow, they're smashing me! Alright, uh, we need to uh, approach this a little bit more tactfully here. Use our, use our stealth and uh, try and get, it, get them from the side here. Uh, on that note, someone was asking me whether you know, I was still playing Puppet Exile. I'm cover covering these other games, you know, Marvel did Marvel Heroes a bit today and I've been covering the Neverwinters. And um, definitely, definitely still playing Part of Exile. I actually put in a few hours. Uh, in between doing these sorts of content for this game, but uh, just not making videos on them while I'm getting these other videos out. Sort of focusing on the uh, the other game action, and then you know, but still got plenty of Path of Exile plans. Going to release a build guide pretty soon to my uh, Searing Bond Templar there, so you guys can definitely look forward to that. Fortunately, I can't thievery that bag while uh, <laughs> I guess while fighting fighting zombies. Oh, looks like I run off from my party. I might need to uh, go back so I don't actually die. Damn, I'm going to have to use a potion. All right, guys, come on. Up we come. Yeah, definitely definitely still covering the path of exile. Oh, here we go. Something's happening. We're opening up freaky portals. Someone touched a skull. Don't touch the skull. Oh, whoa. Okay. Cross into the shadow gate. Mission complete. Okay. It was an accident, but alright. <laughs> still find these guys and kill them off. Okay. Oh, I, I do always enjoy fighting some skeletons, so that's pretty good. My two, uh, two favorite enemies to fight are pretty much always going to be skeletons and zombies. Um, zombies are always satisfying to fight, but uh, skeletons especially. Something about uh, whacking into bones with nothing else around it, just like shattering them. And <laughs> all that jazz. Well, I think in, in, in an RPG setting, I don't know, I'd go around smashing up skeletons in real life, but fun to find it to be very satisfying. So uh, looks like we've just got some just more generic fighting in this area here. <laughs> all right, looks like we're about to battle Traven Black Dagger. Oh, he looks like a space marine. Oh no, okay, he's a pirate. <laughs> just the uh, the graphics haven't quite rendered in there. Let's uh let's take out these ads first for the hexes, because they can they can be a bit of a pain. So I'm gonna just do the uh the standard stealth rotation behind her. I might actually pop out of the way of that man, I just got hit by a heap. And uh might as well throw a, throw a burst in there. I'm gonna go over to this other one where my party isn't and uh do it by myself. So I might uh might put my daily here just to regenerate my stealth so I can really burst her down as quickly as possible. Can I? My stealth seems to be dropping way too quickly. Might be uh, taking some damage or something like that from her. Damn, I'm losing it all. Oh well, we're, we're right. We still managed to get it down pretty quickly though. Right. So I think now I should probably focus on the uh, boss and let uh, any ads be taken out by the AOE from the group since I don't really have that much AOE capability. Shouldn't really do my job. Oh, got a stuck animation locked. Right. Drop down the uh, the decoy there, and as you can see, you probably noticed uh, when that goes down and gets hit by a boss, especially I get a huge regen of the uh, action points. So, so I'm trying to do that as much as possible. I really, just want to max out those skills as much as possible. Still getting getting hit by his big big swing here. I need to uh, watch out for the tell on that one. Yeah, so there's lots of lots of healing going off from the party there, and still getting a nice amount of health from my actual uh, life steal as well. So. Let's um, stealth up behind him from here. Get behind him here, and we'll, we'll use our decoy, and then I'll I'll like try and figure out which side he's facing, and then I'll hop up behind him there. Ah, uh, use use the wrong skill. Still still managed to crit on my days though. So he doesn't. Oh, still getting smashed by. 
So he doesn't he doesn't get dazed from it, but you can still interrupt her if he's trying to lay down an AoE or something like that. So what I'm gonna do here is pop my daily, go into stealth, and hopefully that should stay up if I can stay out of this. Damn, I lost it. So I'm taking too much AoE damage and losing my stealth. Alright, so what I might do is I'll just pop my decoy down here. If he hits that, get another light AoE. Uh, action point first, let's get out of that. Oof. Getting destroyed. Alright, we're getting we're getting him down pretty nicely though. It's not, it's not taking too long. Alright. Man, this this AoE. I might have to uh, switch out Jewelers firing. I targeted on the one of the minions there. Right, let's just kill some of these guys. Alright, stealthing behind him. Alright, this is a bit better. Let's use it. Put our decoy down. <laughs> at least we at least we got some action points. I might pop a healing question here. Just in case. Alright. No, no, no! Oh, I dodged it with the Dazing Strike. So that's another good point about Dazing Strike. Man, it's just a fantastic skill around. If you're activated when you're about to get hit, if you're jumping in the air, you won't get hit. So, you kind of go into this phase strike mode. Let me actually hit him. So you can, uh, you can avoid a lot, a lot of big damage from by doing that at the right time. So, let's uh, see if we can... Oh man, getting thrown about. Everything's getting, getting pretty crazy. Uh, let's jump over here. <laughs> Try and try and get up behind him from here. Alright. So we'll just use our skills. I'm not gonna be able to rely on the good uh the timings on the stealth since we're getting Whoa! Alright. Really have to stay out of those big swings. No 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 no. Wrong side. Don't wanna be on that side. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, he keeps torching. See it was so many no dodge. Get out of here. Alright. Probably another potion. Alright, we've got this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go in for the crit. <laughs> oh, we've almost got him down. All right, come on, let's let's duel us flurry through this. We got this. We got this. Oh, and our com our companion just came back. You got you gotta come back a bit earlier. <laughs> All right, there we go. And leveled up. Good stuff. Do we? All right, let's uh let's have a look at this. What do we got? Movable object, not me. Living dead. Most times fallen. Uh, maybe we should. Oh, like. I, I got rid of it. I didn't. I didn't get to see all the stats. Damn. All right. So blood clock. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna let someone have it. someone else have the blue. No blues for me. And uh, I don't think the chest will. No, the chest isn't available. You have to do it the dungeon during the dungeon event if you want to get the uh, the chest like that at the end. But I believe the chest has a guarantee like blue for you or something like that. So uh, well worth doing when the dungeon pops up. You just want to make sure you finish it as well. I've heard our uh, people. People losing out on the reward if they, you know, if the event finished before they finished the dungeon or something like that. So I don't know if that's a bug. But uh, overall, that was pretty fun. Got to fight some skeletons, fight through some cool bosses, some cool little encounters and mini bosses and things like that. I had fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching it with me. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.